Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises once again after quite a while. So today we are with the new example about the ATM auto teller machine. So I have been requested a couple of times to create this program. So here I am I am creating this program uh, though it is still not completed like a very polished shiny thing but you can complete it at the end of this program or you can join the missing pieces once you will understand this program. You can also request me some new programs like ideas or any other projects or assignments on me with me on this email. So let's just get start to this program without wasting much of our time. So I will first show this uh, functionality like how it works and then I will show the sub diagram, block diagram how, like how I developed this. So you can just see it and judge how it could be done. I will not gonna be developing the whole program. So let's just start with the program like how it works. So first thing was about entering the card. So let's just suppose that we had that um, button at the beginning and then we just enter that button and then we reach on this section. So at there we have to enter the names. So how we can come to know about what kind of customers there are, what are, what are their names and what will be the password. For that purpose, I have already an array to the array that I have already created. So I just need to stop this program. So just fetch that array so I can bring it on my screen here. So you can also see. So let's just run this program once again. So let's just say that if some person randomly from this customer data enters his card, and then this pops up like you have to enter the password so you could imagine let's just say um, there is Sophia and she enters her just first name she just doesn't want to uh, enter the full name this is just only the requirement for the program because otherwise there is a strong possibility when the uh, when someone just enters the card then there is no need of entering the name but this program requires some because of fulfilling some functionalities we need some of the first name so now we have to enter the password with respect to that person's name so let's just say the password is 5260 but anyhow i just entered some random password which is even not correct so if i try to enter it popped up like wrong password please try again so and even if I try too much time, and then what what will happen? It will if I try three times, uh, it will bring me to the last page. Like try, uh, please take your card. That usually happens in the ATM machines. And still, so once again, I have to collect my card and then insert again. Or either we, you can also set up some functionality to block the card for a moment until unless the password is changed or anyhow then then you can see the program and you can think about it and you can implement that functionality but for the moment this is how it is so then again once again we just insert our card and this time we enter the correct password so i enter the name sophia and then uh, enter the correct password which is 5260 and then I enter and now it goes to the main page where you are being asked if you want to get your money in the form of already defined numbers like 50, 100, 150 or 200 or either you have to enter some amount like the other amount or you want to deposit the cash in your ATM and then it will be reflected in your bank balance or either you just want to check your balance. Let's just suppose that right now I just want to um get 150 euros or like something so maybe we are just dealing with euros so i just press that and then 150 euros are just discharged and here it says here your transaction is successful also it very very much matters like how uh, if that amount is available in your account or not this is also being checked so since sophia had that 150 euros since the balance is already reflected here if she would have entered too much more amount then it would not be extracted and it will be popped out that you don't have the enough balance so this transaction was successful so it was shown here now you can take your card and you can now the process just starts once again so let's just try once again and try to enter the amount which is re not realistic 
Um, let's just say we have Lime. And then his password is 1503. Enter. And then let's just say we enter the other amount. His balance for now is 106. But let's just try getting 110 euros. If I enter, it suddenly pops up. The balance is low, which is correct because his balance was already 106. So if I just press this out, it will say, please take your card. And either we can also show here that the transaction was not successful because the balance is low or anyhow, any string could be popped up here. This is what the functionality that you can implement. First thing is I have used tabs here, which had not been implemented in many other um, ATM LabVIEW projects. So what I would like to show here are the tabs that these are the tabs that I have been switching in between while creating while switching between the different phases throughout. So now we will just stop about the program and then we just bring back to the block diagram. So there is a lot going on in this uh, block diagram. So let's just begin with the initial page. So I have tried to create a state machine like a case structures coupled with the tab control and the enum function so that it will be switching between the different uh, tabs and then it will be populated then it will be just shown switched between the different tabs actually. So on the initial page like first we had to create this an enum and define all the pages so that those will be created according to the uh, case structures like the case pages. So that's how these are the enum objects. So like the initial page, main page, enter other amount, cash deposit, check balance, enter password and last page. So yeah, so accordingly you just create the case cases, case structures. So on the initial page, uh, you just set up some initial thing like you have to make sure the cancel buttons are just false and the inter amount and the amount are zero actually that is being entered. And then uh, once you press that button like the enter card, then only you can just go on to the next page, which is the main page, uh, which is not the main page, which is actually the uh, enter password page. You can I have just uh, some wrong uh, uh, case structure arrangements, but you can obviously define that because you will have better understanding. You just need to get some idea. So uh, this is the enter password page where you, it will bring us once we press the button like please insert your card. So once the card is inserted, this is the page that we come up on. So obviously there is a lot of things here to understand. First thing is to fetch the customer's data. So I have already created a constant here for in the folder. And then the, the fetcher and, and then the dot CSV file, which is like something looks like this, uh, is being fetched. And then it is just shown here. Obviously you can, if you just want to, you can, already make it hide like data operations or oh, sorry advanced and then you can just um, hide this indicator completely uh, and then it will not be shown on the front panel and then that is what there are some attributes now then we have to fetch so that we can compare some values like if the password is entered is correctly entered or not like this enter password string and the balance is actually we have checked here but we have if we wanted to look on the balance that is what we click on it accordingly and then it brings us to the page it just actually switch between the tabs but the balance is just shown already so it is just only the visuality that matters in this case but then again but we currently we are talking about the different things like what how if the password is entered correctly or not so this is what the attributes that we fetch like either the password is correct 
if the name matches or not and how many times it has been attempted so far so if the attempts are like greater than two times uh, this is what the program i have created that if the attempts are two greater than three times actually two times so it becomes three then this message pops up that uh, uh, too many wrong attempts and then it just brings you to the last page and some of these select cases just uh, becomes true and then it brings us to the last page so it is quite a bit complicated but obviously you can see it here there is a lot going on but obviously you can get some idea that how it could be implemented but obviously I'm not gonna make this whole program once again as for this tiny little structure you can see here this is actually counts the time how many times the OK button is just pressed so that it could count out um, that this many times that the customer has entered the OK button by after entering the password and if the password is wrong then it it is going to record it like whether it is like above too many tries or not and similarly if we just enter the wrong password then it is going to compare this function and it will display a message that wrong password please try again and similarly if the password is just correct and each and everything is correct and then it will bring us to the main page actually so i'll just go to the main page here and here again we have a lot of cases here to be checked first is like 50 100 150 or 200 these are just values so this checks like either the balance is actually if there is enough balance or not if their balance is enough and then only it happens and then it is just saved in the file as well so the changes are also reflected in the .csv file so this is also a very important step because otherwise that will be there will be no meaning of this ATM program so it is very important to be these all these values should be reflected into the excel file as well uh, so yeah and then the string function that shows your transaction is successful this is only happens when the cases becomes true like either when the amount that wants to be deducted or that happens then only it mentions that then only this string appears and says that the transaction was successful um, and after that what is the next step uh, so once depending on these options like either we want to have a cash deposit or an other amount these cases select which page we just arrive on so after then if we select like enter the other amount then we just enter the amount and then again it checks the balance and then it finally it updates the file .csv file so so that either the transaction was successful or not and similarly we go on to the cash deposit and obviously it is very simple thing to notice that we just need a balance regarding to that particular customer and then it is being fetched and then it is deposited and then it is filled into the CSV file so this is like happens to the different cases and finally if we just go on to the next case which is check balance as I told you earlier this case here is already empty because we have already shown it uh, onto the main page or obviously not not the main page um, but the enter password actually here we have already get the balance and the customer name but this is not shown because it brings us to check balance page and if the customer wants to check the balance then only this page comes true because they press on that button and then we get this uh, tab turned on and then we see only the results uh, so that's how we see check the balance and then if we press the cancel button then it will bring us to the last page so once you take the card and you will be just bring back to the very first page like the initial page so that's how this program works 
um, there are many things that are still missing. Like one, the major thing is the timeout function. Though there are a couple, there are many different ways to implement that functionality, like the event structure, or maybe change value, or like something, or maybe you can set uh, elapsed time function. But this is up to you. You can also implement that. But I have implemented the. Uh, almost completed this program uh, with the different functionality and with the different approach but still there are some missing pieces that you can obviously compile by yourselves once you understand this program so if you like this program so please hit the like button thank you so much